Ludwig Borga cuts a promo on litter. <laughs> this was actually so. This guy is supposed to be the evil foreigner, right? right? So the 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 vignette is he's in a stream, the river, a river stream, whatever. Oh, he's in a fucking body of water, and there's litter everywhere. And he's pointing out, you know, there, there, there's a dead fish killed by this litter, and there's shit all over the place. And he goes, "God damn, look at this place! What a fucking cesspool." This this area, he said, was once so beautiful and color. This is Ludwig Borga saying this. This stream and forest was so beautiful, such beauty and color. And now you Americans have thrown your garbage and your trash everywhere here. And Luger, if you represent this, I'm going to have to. I didn't know Ludwig Borga was an environmentalist. I was yeah. comp- and and, uh, and like and I guess in 90, you know 93 or whatever you're a heel if you care about the environment. Chernobyl this guy was really like changed him. fuck this could have been a whale scout video. And this guy's like <laughs> a bad guy. I was like what in the fuck is this? I'm supposed to boo this guy? He's right. Throw your fucking trash in the garbage you idiot. It's not in the fucking stream. But I'm supposed to boo Ludwig Borga. Well Brian, I know you're a fan of poetry. <laughs> Ludwig said to Mr. Luger you call this the land of milk and honey? Well, down here, it stinks funny. <laughs> yeah. He was disgusted by these this trash. Speaking of disgusting, another proposal. <laughs> <laughs> now, he's oh, talking to Todd. I never got his last name. He tried to say it. he couldn't. He couldn't understand it. Hold this, Heenan says to the woman. My nose is runny. And she takes his Kleenex. And nothing happens for a while until finally, all the exact same time, Ta drops down to a knee and says, Will you marry me? The woman says, Yes. And Heenan says, It's only an hour show. And then uh, they smooch, and Heenan hands the woman back her popcorn. She was Asian. He closes with a racist joke. You'll probably be hungry in an hour, he says. This was the worst proposal ever. When Tess proposed to Steph, and just said, Steph, will you marry me? That was better. <laughs> that was better than this. That guy who proposed at the Red Sox game when his team was losing like 19-3 to or whatever it was, that was better than this. I'm pretty sure Triple H proposing to Stephanie when she was storyline unconscious yes. and couldn't even answer was better than this one. This was bad. Atrocious. Appalling. IRS versus PJ Walker. Ghastly. <laughs> IRS versus PJ Walker. Look, another member of the clique getting a win over Razor Ramon. Well, over IRS. IRS, yeah. yeah. Because of Razor Ramon. Well, because of Razor. Yes. Ra- Ra- Razor comes out, IRS is distracted, and they have now gone to the wall too many times because everyone remembers Kid beating Razor. Everyone remembers Kid beating Diop- DiBiase. Nobody remembers Just Incredible. I barely IRS. remembered Kid beating DiBiase, and I had absolutely zero yeah. memory of this one. Yes. So there's no shame in losing to a future ECW world champion. But uh, yeah, th- th- this uh, dis- th- this underdog win led to nothing. I guess it led to IRS and Scott Hall some more. What are you talking about? It led, it led to, uh, 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 what was his name? The Portuguese Man of War? Yeah. <laughs> he's, one, he's so inspired by his own win, he's going to put a mask on? <laughs> yeah. Bobby Heenan interviews the Quebecers. Now, what the hell was the Portuguese man of war's name? Aldo Montoya. Aldo Montoya, yeah. that's right. Yeah. Now, we were told there was a whole giant long 20 minute promo last week that said if the Steiners won their singles match against the Quebecers this week, they would get a tag title match. But hold on, Vinny. Uh-huh. The heels said that they would. It was okay. never like a signed contract. It was okay. never Jack Tunney. It was the heels ended up lying. Okay, well, the heels lied. Yes. They've gone back in their word. There are other great teams out there, they said. The Head Shrinkers, Men on a Mission, Well Done. At which point, Jacques Rougeau goes, Well Done! <laughs> the Fuck, s- we should defend against them! <laughs> the Smoking Guns, the Bushwhackers. Next week, they will give a tag title shot. That's to someone who truly deserves it. So I don't even know who it is. I have no idea who it would be. But uh, there you go. No I, spoilers, that, that everybody. Maybe he first ignored Stip in Raw history. I don't know. It wasn't really a Stip, though, Vinny. It was, I understand. It was the heels. Mm-hmm. Well, it was. It just wasn't official. Well, a Stip is when you actually sign the contract, and it's like, you know, official. This was this was a gentleman's agreement, but the gentlemen are villains. The gentlemen are not gentlemen. Yes. Right. yes. Next week from New Haven, Connecticut which I believe is their first show outside the state of New York, a tag title match 
Tatanka in action, Ludwig Borger's Raw debut, and Jimmy Stucker. Yeah. Great. Vince goes, one time only, mm. Jimmy Snuka returns. Hmm. Like, my God. Didn't he wrestle The Undertaker in, like, 1994? Uh, it's Mania 10, right? Uh, I think it was before that. No, I think it was Mania. Taker. No, it was Mania 9, I think it was. No, 9 we just watched. It was Taker Gonzalez. Yeah, it was 10. Okay, then. so it wasn't. Maybe it was Taker, Mania 10. Snuka, Mania. Do, 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 do. Seven. Seven. Oh, okay, I guess he is returning Way then. Off. Wow. Yeah. Maybe it is a one time only. I thought that may have been his first match. Takers for that may have been streak one. Oh, well, we'll see if his match is better than Tamina's match on Raw Monday because that one wasn't very good at all. Yes, the streak started with a win over Jimmy Snuka. Ah, there you go. Wow. Who would have ever Sanga thought? Sanga versus Lee stands on Lee's chest when she's down, bangs her, uh, her on the apron, pull, um, puts elbow on her chin through. Her out of the ring. You know, it doesn't really matter a lot in 2022, Granny, but uh, Lee, in fact, identifies as a man. (laughs) Legend versus Perez. That was another NXT. Can you believe the little guy beat him? He beat Legend. A little guy? Now Roxanne Perez is a man? Yeah. Yeah. Roxanne. No, no, these were two women. <laughs> you got to be kidding me, Granny. you got to be kidding me today. God. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.